I'm so happy for you. And as long now you are not a Muslim, you are an ex-Muslim, I'm so happy for you. Let me invite you to believe in the Messiah, our Lord and our Savior. I don't want you to be an atheist, and you should not be an atheist. So what do you think about the Messiah? Christ. Yeah, I, I, um, yeah. So the thing is, I do think, like I thought about quite a lot. I do think he's a good, um, at least a good human. That part, I do think so. Whether he's divine or not, I don't know for sure. There's That's nobody, it. there's nobody in this earth who's a good human. I'm not a good human. I'm not. Are you? No, but he is. That's okay. Uh, thank think. you very much. So the word good cannot be attached to a human can be attached only to God. This is why when a person, he said to prophets. Jesus, his, Jesus said to him, why are you calling me good? Don't you know that only God is good? So Jesus asking him, why are you calling me God? And then Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. So my friend, there's no good human. There's good, good prophet. I mean. No, there's no good prophet too, because prophet commits sin too. Prophets commit sin. You see, just to make it simple for you, like, do people born prophet or they go grow and they become man and etc.? They do, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. So, when you are a teenage and whatever and you are young and you know, don't we do things which is not right? Yeah, but we are just normal people. Doesn't matter. All people are sinners. All people are sinners. So, people commit sin, but Jesus never did. So, what makes Jesus different? That every human being is a sinner. However, God in the flesh is not, for Jesus is the good God. So when we, as a Christian, worship Jesus, we don't worship him only because uh, he can walk in water and he resurrect people from death, for he have no sin. So because the Lord, he says, from their fruits, you shall know them. So if my fruits is sin, then I'm a sinner. Isn't it obvious? Yeah, but if let's say like you do 99% good deeds and 1% bad deeds, it doesn't matter. One sin is a sin, one sin is a sin, you know. Like, I'm if, not saying if, perfect. If I'm I say, good. okay, no, no Jesus perfect. is perfect, there's no sin, perfect, there's no sin. So, if I say right to you right now, I have a room, it's perfectly clean, but there is a spot of dirt. Can I say that the room have no dirt? No, no, you can't. That's it. Same as sin. Every sin we do is a crack in our glass. You cannot say I have no cracks. In the case of Jesus, he has zero sin. So you have Jesus who can raise people from death. You have Jesus who forgives sin. You have Jesus who uh, 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 do all kinds of miracles, unbelievable miracles, you know, for many who they are atheists, they can't believe it. And yet, in the top of that, he have the miracle of miracles. It's him. Not only he is born with no father, not only he is still alive, yet he have something nobody have. Zero sin. Which means his nature is a nature of divine, because divine don't do sin. It's against his nature, not because he cannot, but it's against his nature. He's saying, like, can the holy become dirty? No, you cannot. Because, simply, not because he cannot, but because it is his nature to be holy. So no dirt can affect him. Like, you know, the Muslim, when they say, uh, you cannot take the Quran to the bathroom. Haram, mm -hmm. haram. Okay, why? Yeah. Because, okay, is Allah in the bathroom? They will say no. Okay, who is in the bathroom? Shaitan. Which is very funny and very childish to believe in such a thing. All of us, we knew that if you have a swamp, and the swamp is a very dirty water. And then this swamp is exposed to the sun. Slowly, 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 the sun will destroy every single bacteria in the swamp, correct? Yeah. So the sun is going inside the water, but yet the sun is not getting dirty. I see. Yeah. That is how Jesus is. He go through this earth, which is full of sin. That's why he said, I am the light of this world. But this light which penetrated through us, which we full of sin, which is dirt, but that light will not be getting dirt. For the light of God never be affected by the sin of man. 
But so, just another question. If we look at, for example, uh, in Judaism, like just an older Abrahamic faith, there isn't a concept of a multiple person in one God, so to say. No, that's false. You know, from the first uh, book of Genesis open, it says God and his spirit, you know. And then you will find in Genesis how God, he appeared to Abraham. Appear as what? Three men. The Lord himself, he came to Abraham as a three men. And then Jesus said, before Abraham, I am. So we have tons of stories, tons of verses from the Old Testament proving that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God is a man too, not only just God as the Father, God as a man. So when Adam, he, sorry, when, when, when Abraham, he saw the Father, oh sorry, he saw, the, he saw God, uh, and God, he came to him uh, in the form of a tree. God came to him, like why he chose a tree? I mean, yeah. one at four, one at five, one at six, you know? So mm. always in the Bible, there's the numbers mean something. There's, they are not, it's like uh, just uh, for, uh, it's a fiction movie. Numbers have to be connected with God's message. So when God, he came to, uh, to Abraham, and Abraham, he bowed down to worship God, God who came to Abraham was a man, in the form of a man, and he called him Lord. And the Lord, he promised Abraham and his wife to have a son. And Jesus says, before Abraham I am, when the Jews, they said to him, what are you talking about? You're not even 50 years old. Yet you claim that you, you know, you, you before Abraham. He says, truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham I am, and he saw my day, and he rejoiced for it. So, yeah. And at the same time, like you will see a Muslim speaking about the monotheism, he think he have something powerful. You see, monotheism is not an advantage or disadvantage. If somebody, he believe in 7,000 million God, but they are real. Well, he's not wrong. They are real. Yeah, They're, I agree. I yeah. agree. So the idea that yeah, you believe in three God and you believe in one God, which is not true. We don't believe in three God. But even if they say so, it's a very silly thing. Is it about how many they are or it's about how truthful what you believe? Yeah. yeah so truthful. if I refuse the 35 million gods of the Hindus, it's not because the, the number is funny. Mm -hmm. It's because the belief is funny. But if they are 35 million God, then what they can do about it? It's me who decide how many God they are. So if the God of Muslim, he says, I am five gods, can the Muslim laugh at it? No. Suddenly the monotheism, they will not be monotheism. Just because Muhammad says so, they follow. So it's not about how many, it's about who is your God. The ethic of Islam is down zero. The logic of Islam is so stupid. Like, what is the logic? If I believe in God, this God will make my penis endless. It's even silly and stupid. What is the logic that I will have women who will never get jealous and they will be ready for me for sex? Women I never met. That is nothing but temptation of the devil. What is the point of a prophet teaching me to be good by seeing a woman walking in the street and then get horny and go to my wife or to go after a child she is six years old? And then I want to teach people about good ethic, and I am the ethical prophet. If I want to see what ethic is, I will never find someone can do as Jesus did. He is not only a person of ethic, he is ethic. For I believe all ethic is coming from him. And if we have a simple dignity, any dignity, it's coming from him. It's a gift from him. Otherwise, a human being, if he decide to live an animal, he will have sex with his, with his mother, he will have sex with his daughter, he will have sex with everybody, and he will have zero ethic. If I want to live as an animal, as an atheist, I believe in nothing except I, what I can get. Then I can kill somebody and I will never feel guilt. I will never feel bad. Islam justify bad things. He justify killing, justify rape, justify stealing, justify cheating justify lying so what is what is the good ethic of islam in a christianity you cannot justify any you cannot justify it i see yeah yeah so just if, um like, yeah. just another question for it like the thing is um that's also always what i found hard not only with uh, like one or other religion but all religion in general like with every religion, you have people that try very hard and they think they're doing it good, right? Like also you have lots of Muslims, they think they're doing it good. They try and they think they are on the right path. 
but I don't understand like how does then God not change them to become, for example, a Christian? Well, you see, uh, in order to ch God don't change you, you change yourself. So when I say, uh, let us say, uh, like now, you left Islam. Is it God who changed you or you made the decision? Maybe both. No, no, I, I have know. no. I have to say it's you. I will tell you why. Because uh, God, He is not the one who is going to take you against your will. For if He did, that will not be a free will. Then you have no blessing of what happened to you. So, God, He changed man after they believe in Him, not before. When they believe, yeah, for example, my dad, for example, like he does he, last years, he he is more uh, practicing Muslim. He tries his best and I don't even do it like that. I didn't do it like that. So then why is he not like, how come then I see it from a different perspective? Like, he your did better than your father, he don't know what he's believing. So he, he is uh, he's just doing rituals. So what he do? You think he is doing good? He pray five times a day. What does have to do with yeah. being good? Well, it's because then he thinks God wants us. Okay, no, well, hold on. But do your God, do your prophet, sorry, uh, sorry, your, your dad, do he knew that he can lie to your wife, your, to his wife, your mother? He can, he knew. Okay. okay. How am I being a good man following the teaching of Allah and I'm lying to my wife? How that if is a blessing? That, if he thinks that the religion is good, I mean, from that, ah, from so, that uh, way. So what, what you are saying, that I fool myself thinking that what I'm doing, which is wrong, is good, and that make me feel I'm doing good, but this is still bad, you know, it doesn't matter what you feel. So if I go and rob a bank, I can justify it. I can say, this is not the money of the people. Those are big companies, they own billions. So and the people will get their money anyway. I can justify it, but you know, and I know, that this is nothing but a theft. It's a crime, correct? Yeah. Okay, so if I do follow Allah, doesn't justify me or make me look better. In fact, it looked me more, 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 more guilty because I am following blindly without a chicken, which God he gave me, even if you as a Muslim, God gave you, you feel when you kill somebody, when the blood comes from the person, you know it's wrong, it's disgusting, it's ugly, you know? So we have that in, in our heart, but Islam do its best to kill it. Islam, it killed the human person inside you. Christ resurrect you as a human. Islam killed the humanity. Christ resurrect the humanity. This is a huge difference. When those Hamas, they go and kidnap children, eight months old, a rape a girl, she is not even six years old, and then they bring a woman, she is not even a, a, almost a hundred years old. All of this for political gain, a military gain. Where was the ethic? What about you go and you fight the prisoner, the, the, the Israeli, and even if you want to take a prisoner of war, you know? If this is what you want to do in 2023, then why you are crying if they come and take all of you together as slaves? If you do that, they can do that to you. If you go and rape women, they should come and go and rape women for you. So if Muslims believe in Islam, then they should believe that what we do to others is going to be done to us. Muslims... Right. Muslims are supremacist. They believe that they are superior and they have the right to rape everybody. 